finally here, folks. I moved into this apartment in September. It's now July, and we are moving in one month. So here's to finally wrapping up the living room makeover just in time to pack everything back up. But first, let's bring it back to the beginning. Best case scenario when planning to decorate is you are upgrading old items or you have some time before you move into your new place. I had no furniture but two months to shop. Be mindful of return policies if you are buying before you measure your space. I asked my landlord if I could schedule 10 minutes to come take measurements for the couch and kitchen table I'd be working at. I knew the general color palette, neutrals, light wood tones, my best attempt at a Scandinavian design. There were a few things I didn't end up buying, but ideally I'd DIY this mirror and have a chair with a side table in this corner, covering up the electric box. I find the couch is always the hardest decision you have to make quickly because it's a big ticket item and you need it right away. I recommend checking out small stores in your area. I found an Ashley Home Store that was actually closing down, so I may or may not have bought a floor model, but I first checked out Ikea. Three things I'm looking for is comfort, it fits in a small space, easy to clean, and under $1,000. Oops, that's four things. I'm starting to get demanding. <laughs> I almost went with this couch. It pulls out into a bed. It's module, I'll link it down below, but they do have some great options. After sit testing nearly every couch and looking at the prices, as well as checking out some side tables in a media unit, I did end up going with the Ashley Home Store couch. They wrapped it up for me. They weren't offering delivery, but if you buy a floor model, you can get a really good deal. I just got a U-Haul trailer for $15 and towed it with my car and it fits so well. This is like a thousand dollar couch on sale for $500. And clearly you can see I am pleased with the length of it. So all around amazing. I did post a video for my kitchen makeover where I started this little breakfast nook. I thrifted some chairs and totally upcycled them. But where I did upgrade is the pictures since that video. I thrifted some gold frames, got some new art, and it really brought this corner to life and blended it in with the rest of the living no room. Respect. I have a dedicated video for this pleated lampshade that I see everywhere, but if you want the quick version, I just used an Ikea cord. I got Bristol board from the dollar store, folded it up, added the edges, used a sewing needle to just tie the top together, used a command hook, to hang it and there you have a plug-in pendant light. I styled it with some wildflowers from around my neighborhood and on to the main living room. So I got this bench also from Ashley Home Store. I ordered it online though and I'm going to use it as extra seating when I have guests but in the meantime it'll be a footstool for the couch. However when it came in oh my God, I was not happy. It's blue guys not light gray. I did break my rule and it doesn't have a good return policy, but that's okay. It has great storage and I'm going to make it work with the original blue curtains and this carpet that I have. Moving on to the window, I got this really cool window film from Amazon. I'll link it below. The film is really thick. It was hard to cut it once I put it on there, so I want to cut it to the exact size. I think it's a little bit janky. Yeah, <laughs> there's quite the curve. It was only about $25 for the amount that I needed, one roll, and it gives off a beautiful glow at nighttime. I wanted to add some scale to the room, so I chose two really large frames. I'll link them below again, but they're from Opposite Wall, and they're white oak, real wood, so they're going to last a long time. Make sure you get that pet hair out before sealing the deal. I actually used the paper that came with it as the backing until I get them properly framed with a mat because it didn't come with that. I ordered the two images off Society6 and I was going for a black and white mountain theme. One thing I learned is I didn't need to screw into a stud or an anchor because these pictures were less than 10 pounds and screws in drywall can hold up to that weight. Also, taking the window film in the corner at nighttime, it's so pretty. This is a little bit higher in the middle than this one. With big cushions like this, though, in all seriousness, this does help even them out after sitting on them for a while. This is quality content. <laughs> Kira, what do you think? Give it a test. Lay down. Oh, yes. 
This shelf is from Ikea, but I thrifted it off Facebook Marketplace. You may recognize it from my bathroom makeover, but I thought it would look really great in this corner, styled with some books, plants, and some extra storage. I wanted to keep the shelf styling pretty simple with the Wi-Fi modem, a storage box that I actually spray painted white. There's a video on my channel. I flipped the books the other way around, grabbed a basket from Walmart for storage again, and my pothos that will not stop growing. You can also put a glass on this as a side table. I added in some textured throw pillows to break up the same pattern of the couch, and I like how it all kind of pulled together. The poof does look like a soccer ball now to me that I'm seeing it in these clips. Right now we have Kiro's dog bed. It's huge just beside the couch. It was over in this corner before and he liked it so he and he could look out the window. But I think I'm going to DIY a half circle one that fits perfectly in this little corner right here. And these purple curtains, I'm not going to change out just to save a little money. I will only be staying here for a year, but the entryway carpet and the curtains will actually tie into the blue footstool I was talking about earlier. I didn't want to mount my TV, so I had to find a stand that could fit a 55 inch TV with speakers, and this was the perfect find in a light wood. I tried to find some inspiration for this open shelving. We don't really have anything TV wise that needs to be stored here. I have this basket from HomeSense. It stores a lot of our chargers when they're not in use. This is a tin box that I spray painted in one of my dollar store makeovers. It holds craft supplies. These books had blue and yellow covers, so I just took them off. Let me know in the comments below how you guys style your media units. Now moving on to the white space above the TV. These are the baskets that Alexandra Gator featured in one of her more recent dining room makeovers. I love having one of them in the gallery wall like she used and I thought I could stack them here and have this be a little plant corner. I feel like something just looks so wrong with these two basket plants. I do like them. It seems too country. This side is more, I don't know, French, a little bit more vintage. I think when you walk in, the detail in the back draws your eye downward so the room looks bigger because this is a fairly small space. I actually like the blank space here, the negative white area. I do think that I could have some pompous grass. I think that would look pretty, but right now it is winter kind of. We don't really have any good pompous grass out there, so I would put that in later but I like how the two areas look sectioned off now. This glass wall propagation station matched so much better with the theme. It looks a bit more modern and I needed somewhere to put my plant stems. So perfect, amazing. And I think this wraps it up. So let's roll the tape back, look at the befores and see how we were able to transform this place. me again interrupting the beautiful before and after music. I just wanted to let you know that I've already sold the couch. We're moving to BC in one month so stay tuned, subscribe if you want to see some more room makeovers in the new house and I have a backyard this time so there's going to be some really cool woodworking projects coming up. Okay thanks for watching. I have to go pack. Bye!